Hi, my name's Leslie Fellows, and it's my pleasure to offer some introductory remarks for the next uh, section of this special symposium. I'm a professor in the Department of Neurology and Neurosurgery at McGill University and a cognitive neuroscientist and cognitive neurologist working at the Montreal Neurological Institute. I have the privilege of uh, leading the cognitive neuroscience research group at the MNI, a group that grew out of Brenda Milner's uh, lab over the decades. It's given me something of a front row seat uh, on the latter stages of Brenda Milner's career. And I thought I'd share with you a few uh, thoughts that have come from uh, watching Brenda in action over the last uh, 15 or 20 years. There's no doubt that Brenda's had uh, impact and she's had impact on many le levels and it's worth thinking about those a little bit. Um, she's obviously had impact as a neuroscientist. She's done pioneering work. As a scientist though, I think more generally, she's, uh, she's sort of shown the way in terms of um, her emphasis on, on rigor, on excellence, on uh, creative and thoughtful experimentation, on um, you know reproducibility, and uh, making sure that that you've got things right and that you communicate them clearly. Uh, these are the lessons that she's clearly taught her trainees over the years, and uh, she continues to stick to today. And I think they've helped to shape the the direction of of the whole field and the the standards to which we hold ourselves. From a um, clinical point of view, she's had an impact as well, although that was never her, her goal. She, she was driven by curiosity, by the efforts to understand how the brain worked, um, but, the, but was delighted by the fact that what she was learning uh, what could be a benefit to patients. And indeed, she's helped to set the, the foundations of clinical neuropsychology and to, um, to shape the way clinicians uh, and patients understand uh, what's going on when uh, things go wrong in the brain. She's had a major influence at the institutional level and the institutions that she's worked in. Um, she's a, a storied figure at the MNI and um, showed how um, we could learn by studying uh, patients and that we could use that knowledge to improve the care of those patients and people like them. Uh, a model that the MNI has followed uh, ever since. She's had an important impl influence on the Department of Psychology with which she main has maintained strong links throughout her career. And that connection between the Department of Psychology and the MNI uh, has flourished as well. And um, together with a handful of other uh, pioneering figures uh, about her vintage, uh, she's really helped to shape uh, the direction and emphasis of research and, and teaching to some degree at the university as a whole. And neuroscience is a major uh, pillar of McGill's activities and really stretches far, far beyond the walls of the MNI and the Department of Psychology at this point to touch almost every corner of the university. And that's in no small part to um, the work that Brenda did and the example that she, that she set. So these accomplishments are alone are uh, more than impressive, but what struck me the most in watching uh, Brenda in action uh, at the various events that we've held on and off over the years to bring, uh, to bring her students, her, her former trainees and, uh, and others together to celebrate her accomplishments is the personal impact. Uh, Brenda really cares about the people that she trained, about her collaborators, her colleagues. Uh, she considers them family. She takes an interest and uh, maintains connections with them uh, over the years. And uh, that sense that science is uh, something that uh, is a group effort. It's something that you you do together and that's uh, important. And it's also a pleasure and something to be celebrated that uh, comes through uh, loud and clear in any, in any interaction. And most of those interactions uh, happily are, uh, if not in the seminar room, in a restaurant over an excellent meal and a great glass of wine. And that sort of uh, celebratory style and, and, and uh, sincere enjoyment of um, the whole process of science and the people doing it um, is uh, perhaps a feature of uh, Brenda Milner that's particularly to be uh, uh, cherished. So with those informal remarks, I'll turn to a more formal introduction. Um, Brenda Milner is the Dorothy J. Killam Professor in the Department of Neurology and Neurosurgery at McGill and has uh, spent most of her career at the Montreal Neurological Institute. She's also an associate member of the Department of Psychology. She was born in Manchester, England, and continues to keep close tabs on the sports teams there. She took her BA and MA at Cambridge, uh, partly through the Second World War, 
And then she came to Montreal where she uh, taught at the Université de Montréal and then um, came to do a PhD uh, in the Department of Psychology under uh, the supervision of Donald Hebb. Uh, following that, she landed at the MNI where she um, began to work with Wilder Penfield and to study the patients who were being uh, cared for at the MNI, including those undergoing neurosurgical procedures. And uh, the rest of that is uh, definitely history from a scientific point of view. Over her 70 year career, she taught generations of students and carried out pioneering work on the brain basis of memory and executive function. She has received dozens of honorary degrees. She's a fellow of the Royal Society of London, a fellow of the Royal Society of Canada, a foreign associate of the National Academy of Sciences in the United States, and a companion of the Order of Canada. She has won many prizes and awards, including the Kavli Prize in Neuroscience, the Balzan Foundation Award, and the Dan David Prize. Without further ado, it's my pleasure to turn the virtual podium over to Professor Brenda Milner to uh, hear her in her own words. Colleagues and friends, thank you for this great honor. I would like specifically to thank Maurice, Lynn, Marilyn, Brian, May Britt and Leslie for their presentations and generous comments. I realize this meeting is virtual and I wish that we could be all together, but that is today's reality. I wish everybody a stimulating and successful meeting. 